Today we are going to talk about three different types of averages and I'm going to show everyone how to find them while using what every child owns which is Legos. The three types we're going to cover is mean, median, and mode. And then at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to, use, how to do range. The first type of average is mean. Mean is the sum of all numbers divided by n. We use mean when we're talking about any type of averages that we want to find. So if you wanted to see what the average temperature was one week, you would add all the temperatures together and then you would divide by 7. But let's see how we can do it with Legos. So as you can see, I have 7 different stacks of Legos. So therefore, 7 is going to be n in this case. I'm going to stack them all into one long stack. And this is going to be the sum of all the Legos. And then I'm going to have to divide them by 7 so that we all have even stacks. And whatever number comes out to be is going to be our mean. So as you can see, I have seven even stacks of four. So four is going to be our mean in this situation. The next type of average we're going to talk about is median. Median is the middle number in a sorted list of numbers. Median is something we use when we just want to get a gauge of where the average is. A good example would be if a teacher just wanted to see where the average student was performing. So she took all the test grades and looked in the middle to get an average. So now we're going to use my original seven sets of Legos here to find the median. Notice I have the Legos in order because we can't find the median if they are not in order. As you can see here, the middle stack is five Legos, so therefore the median is going to be five in this situation. Now something to keep in mind is that if I added a stack over here, just one, it would now be eight stacks. And when we went to go find the median, we're going to run into these two numbers. In order to find the median now, we would have to add these two together like we did for the mean and then divide it back out. And our median would be 4 because 5 plus 3 divided by 2 is 4. The last of our average we're going to talk about today is mode. Mode is the number that appears the most in a set of data. A good example of when mode is used is when a company needs to find out which size jersey is bought the most. They're, they're going to use mode to see in that case. Going back to the original seven stacks of Legos we started with, we can see that the stacks containing five Legos appear the most. So therefore, five is going to be the mode here. Something to keep in mind is that there doesn't always have to be a mode. If I were to rearrange the stacks, so that they all had a different amount. Let's see. Let's do this. So they all had a different amount here. Now, no number repeats. So there would be no mode here. Now, there can also be more than one mode. If I were to make it so that there were a couple different sets of two, this will break, which it's not going to want to, and then I took a couple different sets of five, we can see that there would be more than one mode. So therefore in this case the mode would be two and five. The last thing we're going to talk about today is range. Range is just the difference between your maximum and minimum numbers. Range allows us just to see the amount of data the set covers. So in this instance, we're going to take away the N2 stacks here. And so we have 7 and 2. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take 2 away from the 7. And as you can see, we're left with 5. So the range in this situation is going to be 5.